Hi, I'm Mike Cutchins, Extension Dairy Specialist at the University of Illinois. This module will discuss water, the most essential and most inexpensive nutrient that we discussed in this series of nutrients. First, let's look at factors that impact water requirement. These are the major factors that will drive how much water a cow, a calf, or a heifer will consume. Obviously, body weight is important. The larger the body weight, the higher the water consumption that will occur, although it's not a major factor. Here comes your big factor, number two, milk yield. As milk is made up of nearly 87% water, as a cow goes from 40 to 80 pounds of milk, her water requirement really will increase. Thirdly, temperature. Once cows get over 60 degrees Celsius, they will consume more water as a cooling to minimize heat stress. Feed intake will also drive dry matter intake. As cows consume more dry matter, more water has to be consumed. If water is restricted, feed intake will also decline. Sodium levels will also increase water requirement, just like it would in a human. And typical values over 0.18 to 0.2% will increase water requirement. And finally, the extra moisture in the feed will impact water intake. A wet feed such as silage requires less water than a dry ingredient such as baled hay. A formula developed here at the University of Illinois can actually predict how much water a cow will consume. Gallons per cow per day is equal to a constant 4.2, which would be gallons, plus add to that the factor of 0.19 times the pounds of dry matter, which means dry matter drives intake, Add to that the amount of milk the cow produces times the value of 0.108. Add to that the number of ounces of sodium consumed times 0.374. Remember, this is sodium, not salt. And finally, adjust for minimal temperature the cow is exposed to. So in a total 24-hour time period, you look at the max and the mins, take the minimum temperatures, and multiply by this constant. So for an example, a cow that consumes 40 pounds of dry matter, consumes 3 ounces of sodium, produces 65 pounds of milk, and is exposed to a minimum 50 degrees Fahrenheit, would consume about 23 gallons of water per day. This formula is very useful to determine if cows are consuming the amount of water they should. Here are some guidelines for lactating dairy cows. They should have 2 to 3 inches of available water space per cow in the free stall or resting area. Once they return from the milking parlor, there should be two linear feet per cow so that all cows can lap up large amounts of water in a short period of time from each turn of the milking parlor. There should be at least two waterers per group. This avoids the boss cow problem and access to water. Water should be 6 to 12 inches deep. This allows for the cow to actually take long drinks of water rather than having to lap at it if it's too shallow. And if it gets much deeper than 12 to 14 inches, we don't turn the water over quick enough to keep it real fresh. Ideally, tanks should be open rather than closed or have plastic devices in it. We realize this can be a challenge during cold weather. And finally, we should monitor cows to see how they drink. If cows start to lap or splash at the water, there may be problems with water quality or other factors itself. If cows are not drinking enough water, Check for its availability in space, similar to the guidelines we gave in the last slide. Also look at water quality, such things as bacteria, minerals, odor, feed debris, or defecation could be a problem. If cows lap at water, check for stray voltage. They're trying to get water without being shocked, so this may be another telltale sign. And finally, if you are not sure how much water the cow is consuming, Put a water meter on it, check for intake, and then calculate against our formula to see if you're achieving the levels the cows should consume. So the bottom line is water, water, water. We need plenty of water and high quality. Here you can see on the left side a very good concrete, concrete trough, very clean water, good access, a guardrail, and access from both sides of the water trough. The other one is a tip trough. And you can see the individual here tipping the water so that it can be refilled daily so we have fresh water and any debris or residue is removed each day. This concludes our module on water. Thanks and have a good day.